today. We're doing seafood boil. Behind the door of this East Oakland storefront, something is cooking. Crab, lobster, shrimp. And it's not just the seafood Shabriah Hill is planning to serve up to her customers. I've always been in the kitchen. Until recently, Shabriah was in her kitchen selling plates of food to friends. But today, she's in this commercial kitchen, known as the Black Food Collective, as a new business owner. I've been getting a lot of catering inquiries, and I've been able to actually really build my business and my brand. I'm using all that. No, you got to use it. <laughs> yeah, I got that. Yeah, I <laughs> Black business owners like Shabria can use the Black Food Collective space to host pop-ups to serve guests or fill catering orders, all while getting support along the way. It's like a modern-day mecca of black innovation happening right before our eyes. Rashard Armstead started the collective because he knows firsthand the struggles black entrepreneurs face. Champion of Chopped Season 42, he owned two restaurants in Oakland, but had to close them both because of issues with funding. As a black business, typically when we go into banks or institutions, they always underfinance us to where we're not getting the money to where a part of our business plan we can't include having a salary in there to pay us so we can take care of our bills. A study by the Kauffman Foundation found black entrepreneurs rely the most on personal credit cards as a form of outside credit to fund new companies or acquire existing ones. It also found nearly six in ten black entrepreneurs who did not seek additional financing despite needing it did so because they thought the business would not be approved by a lender. That's why the Black Food Collective has launched an Indiegogo campaign to raise $1 million to invest in 30 black-owned businesses. I believe that every person, I don't care where you come from, what, what race you are, what religion you are, you should have the opportunity to own a piece of equity in your community, especially when you create the culture in the community. Rashad sees the collective helping chefs like Shabriah open restaurants and sell items in grocery stores. A vision she shares. I feel like this is only the beginning. Cooking up not just food, but a future of ownership and opportunity. In East Oakland, Kumasi Aaron, ABC 7 News.